All right, it's day 10. Man, these days are flying by. I was gonna talk a little bit about uh, my match results from yesterday, but I still don't have it. But really doesn't matter. It's just still challenge. Uh, I do know there's a few things I gotta work on is my elevation, because after shooting a stage, I noticed my groups were at the top of some plates and at the bottom of other different plates at different distances. So uh, I, I've got a few things I got to work out with my new IDPA load. I, it's not going to be a problem. I just got to figure out, you know, more point of impact and uh, just exactly where I'm aiming at. I just, and i uh, real excited about doing that going forward. So, you know, from here on out, it's IDPA. No more uh, USPSA training or... Uh, steel challenge or anything like that. I'm strictly gonna work on fundamentals and just gradually and uh, improve and change up to increasing distances and harder skill sets and making drills harder and harder and harder than what we're gonna more difficult than what we're gonna shoot at nationals as game plan. So when I go to nationals, it'll be easy. So since I don't have my results, we're gonna change things up today a little bit and talk about uh, match courtesies. Yeah. I'd be courteous at a match. All right, so being on time is one of the big things about it. If you're going to go shoot a match, to be courteous and make sure that uh, you're on time and ready. So not just before the match, but each stage. You should be ready to shoot and have everything ready to go when you're not the next shooter, but the shooter before that. So... Uh, you know, in baseball we call it on deck or in the hole. Same with shooting. So, if you're not shooting, you're the next guy or the next guy. You should really be ready to shoot the stage mentally and have all your gear ready to go. And that way, if something happens to them, which it always does, uh, you can go next. So, uh, be on time is a big is a big key. And not only that, to be ready and have all your uh, your ducks in a row. Okay, so the next thing is to be be you know, helpful, help out, volunteer. You know that way you'll be uh, courteous to the other uh, volunteers and remember that everybody's a volunteer. And to help improve the shooting sports, you know it, it takes good volunteers and, and to be kind to those people because sometimes you get stuck in the competition mode and you kind of get narrow-minded and you know if you if you spend the time and volunteer and stuff you don't get so sucked into all this prize table thinking and uh now it, it's important to be a, a a fierce competitor but you need to be able to turn that on and on if you if you're there just for uh the competition side you're going to burn out really quick and finally though one of my biggest pet peeves is people don't prove their equipment. You know, they everybody has equipment troubles, but it's like, and it's always it seems like the new shooters who are, are uh, it's always the same guys who always bring a new gun to the to the match. Oh, I never even shot this gun before, and they bring it to a match. It's like shooters are such kind people; they're not going to say anything. But that's really rude to have gun trouble and to uh, expect the all the volunteers and stuff to to sit there and wait for your all your gun troubles and when you didn't even spend the time to go prove it at the range before so that's a that's a big thing and you know I shot steel challenge yesterday and steel challenge has 22s the rim fires are kind of finicky guns as is and it always amazes me you see somebody with a a thousand dollar 22 pistol but they spend you know five bucks on ammo they got the bucket o ammo and running in a precision gun you know it's like those rounds come pre-bent and you're trying to and you're trying to run them through a good gun i'm getting tangled up in the leashes dogs aren't helping me today so you know, but so if you're shooting a 22 spend the extra dollar and get some ammo that actually comes in a box not loosely packed, but in a, a plastic tray. You know what? Spend the extra $2 and get a plastic tray that the ammo comes in and shoot that. It gives you at least a chance because 22s are so finicky and so particular. But if you go with the bucket of ammo, 
with the pre-bent loose rounds that you, you know don't, that's not for a match it's for practicing and plinking and stuff so uh it's just a word to the wise you know it doesn't matter if it's not a 22 or not you know spend some time make sure everything works with the load you're running and your gun and you're you know you don't put a new spring in and go shoot a match and say oh i wonder if this will work you know you don't want to know so prove out your gear before you go to a match it's just going through the drive through get me some king's chicken one thing i can't ever understand is menu is not very complicated but it takes forever for people to order here it's like they got chicken strips and sandwiches it's it's amazing how long it goes back and forth for people to order here. Okay, so I got my results for the Steel Challenge match. I really didn't shoot very well. I uh, got 12th overall, uh, first production, but uh, I should have. I had some good runs, but I didn't have some great stages, or I didn't have good stages. So I'm just kind of inconsistent. Same problems I've been having with my DPA matches. I can't put a whole match together or a whole stage together so um it it really uh motivates me to improve especially when i i really like shooting steel challenge because it's the same every time when you can mark your uh your your benefits but you're also when i'm shooting production you know shooting against rimfire and and pcc guys i'm shooting against rifles and stuff so i mean obviously the competition's a lot harder but uh it's a great sport it's just uh you know i got a lot to improve